ready? Oh. No. No second thoughts? Absolutely none. We're gonna go to the wedding shower, talk to my grandma. Tell her the secret has to come out. I mean, Brooke and I never made love. It's a lie and it has to be exposed. Thank you. For what? For keeping my head on straight. I think you would have been ready with or without me. No. no. There's too much at stake. My mother's happiness, my, my grandmother's trust, my controlling interest in force and creations. It was all too tempting. And it was wrong. You helped me see that. I'm sorry. It's all going up in smoke now after I confessed the lie I never should have told. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you. Shouldn't be. I shouldn't have lied to Brooke and Dad. I mean, I still can't believe I did it. Look, you're human, okay? You just wanted your parents together. Thank you, but that doesn't justify what I did. I just wanted my mother to be happy, and now I'm going to her wedding shower to blow her whole world apart with this... the truth. Do you think that lie made her happy? Because it didn't. I mean, yes, she's getting to have your father, but she's been worried sick about you. Guess that's one consolation. There's something even bigger that's coming out of this. Yeah. That. The way you feel about yourself. Yeah, you've been miserable, Thomas. Everybody could see it. They all thought it was because of something that happened on the island. You've been sick ever since that lie came out of your mouth. Now you don't have to be. I owe you so much. Yeah, you do. Face the music. Okay. Daisy, hey, hey come on in. Oh, oh, you. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thomas. Yes. What are you doing here? Just need to talk to Grandma for a second. Uh, can it wait after the shower? Oh, that's okay. Um, can I use your bed? Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay, Tom. Let's go. Um, I'm coming too. All right. What the heck was that all about? Oh, Thomas is, is dealing with something. So what's this about? I need to talk to you, Grandma. Okay. What do you want to talk to me about? You know exactly what this is about. Tom? Stephanie. You had to tell someone. You didn't. Why would you do that when we're so close? They're getting married tomorrow. Look, I've been trying to cling to the secret, but I can't do it anymore. I've lied to Dad, I've lied to Brooke. Grandma, I've destroyed their marriage. I can't live with that. Sorry, Stephanie. Stay out of this. Too late. Br this is what's best for everyone. Including Brooke. Yes, including Brooke. Look how it's turned her life around. Somebody, are you kidding me? She's miserable. She's lost her husband over this. Oh, really? Well, Rage would still be married to his mother if Brooke hadn't interfered in their marriage. So now you're interfering with her life and her marriage. You think that's right? I do think that's right. Okay, she knows it doesn't change anything. No, it does. It changes everything. All right. None of this leaves this room. Your mother is happy. Have you ever seen her happier? She, you know how much she loves your I father. I know. Grandma, the last thing I want to do is break her heart. Then don't. So mom and dad get married tomorrow? Yes. It's meant to be. No. Grandma, not like this. Mom would never be happy if she knew that this was all based on a lie. Then don't tell her. So I live a charade while Brooke suffers dad suffers and mom and Steffi are clueless that's my happy family grandma let me ask you something 
Would you be happy in a family like that? Knowing that it was your deception, your dishonesty that manufactured the whole thing, it wouldn't... It wouldn't bother you knowing that it wasn't real. How could you live with yourself? You wouldn't. And neither will I. The truth needs to come out. I'm telling Mom and Dad and Brooke that we didn't make love. I won't keep saying we did. I'm finished.